guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. Yeah, Squishy. <laughs> Squishy's in a good mood today. Yeah, we uh we have finally got a little bit of the decorating uh, complete. I stacked all of the walls from last time to about seven high, added a light up top so that we can see it at night. And it starts to look good. And I did a poll yesterday about tree borders. Now, I really, really, really dislike just the fence. But a good portion of people did like it. Actually, about half. I think the least favorite was this. So we're going to take that down immediately. Um, it just It's probably due to the color and not the contrast. The, I, I got to admit, this does look big. But I do like it better than the fence. It's just a little bit more full. Um, I wish we had a half block because half blocks would be perfect. Uh, but that's not the case. I did want to try something that I saw somebody else post though. And I don't think I'm going to do it with the stone. But bamboo. Bamboo looks pretty darn good. I tried it downstairs and I really liked the way that it looked. Somebody had mentioned it in the comments. I think it was fire acid, but I tried to find the comment this morning and I did not see it. So it's green. <laughs> let's uh let's try the corner stairs. And last but not least. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. It's it's definitely something. <laughs> this stuff makes me want to build a pagoda or something out here, a gardening feature. And I, I don't have any bamboo. I don't know if this is the right option, though. I really don't. Um, <laughs> I, still, I still am undecided. Maybe a different kind of rail would be fine. Uh, especially if it's just dirt because the border itself I don't know if I like it you know like just a wood border I don't know if I like it so I guess if this was dirt it would be a little bit different but I'm not gonna play with two oh squishy almost fell off baby um it, you did fall off actually uh, so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with the railing yet I'm still playing around with it just know that I'm 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 working on it, okay? I'm working on it. But the fence looks really good at the seven high peak right here. And oh my gosh. Z-Rex. I didn't know what to name him, okay? So Z-Rex was the only thing that came to mind. <laughs> but uh it seemed pretty fitting. And uh he's he's just an amazing guard dog. And anytime I need bones, I can chase down stuff. So th big thanks to Drax for helping me out. If you guys haven't checked out Drax, you should. He's uh, he's an amazing friend and content creator. So I kind of want to go uh, get some more bamboo today and play around with a pagoda idea and probably do some more decoration features in this little setup right here and maybe get these tree borders figured out. Since we have lights and all that stuff now, it's probably a pretty good time to try that. Also... I need to get my dye collection more robust. So green dyes. We are after green berries again. And I want to try that trick I heard about in the swamp. So we're going to head over to the swamp and the bamboo area, guys. Grab some supplies and I'll meet you there. All right. We're out here with old Fidget. And I want to see if I can harvest seeds from these bamboo plants. Now, I thought bamboo shoots at first was going to do it, but it turns out that bamboo shoots are edible. I had collected a bunch of these and I put them in my inventory and I was like, wait, hold up, what? <laughs> bamboo shoot spoils in 59 minutes obtained by planting bamboo shoot seed. And you can plant seeds for these things. Eat and gain a tiny amount of nourishment and use to make delicious food and cooking item. And it's true. You just consume them. So planting bamboo, you can't do it either. You can't place in your uh, your hot bore. So I'm wondering if there's actually bamboo seeds along with bamboo shoot seeds. Holy crap, that fairy dragon was flying? I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> anyway, um, so I have a trike that I had tamed a little while back. I'm going to go ahead and drop him. 
along with a saddle for him. Whoa, relax, baby. Relax. Okay. Trike saddle or triceratops. And uh, and let's see what happens when I hit one of these trees with it. I did not get seeds from it. Just bamboo. Okay. And it does not look like I'm getting seeds from the bamboo shoots either. Just thatch. Hmm. So, I'm wondering if maybe the thorny boar has anything to do with this. I did bring enough stuff to tame a thorny boar. I didn't want to take the thorny that I already had out because he's loaded up with all kind of junk. So, I'm going to just go ahead and tame this thorny. You guys stay put right here while I take care of this. Uh, brought some truffles. So this only should take a couple of truffles, or a few truffles, I should say. Um, I'm going to try the sickle out on a bamboo shoot as well. Hmm. Okay. It kind of just disappeared. Okay, I got a bamboo shoot, but no seed. Bamboo shoot, no seed. Bamboo shoot, no seed. What about... Mm -mm. No, it doesn't seem to give you anything when I do that. Huh. Very interesting. If these guys can harvest seeds... I know... See, the trikes don't get uh, any seeds from magical trees, for instance. But the thorny boars do. Uh, the thorny boars don't collect seeds from plants, but the trikes do. So, it's kind of an interesting deal. You should have both of them, technically. And also, I'm going to pet the panda. He gives me a little buff. Hey, panda. <laughs> Very nice of you. All right. So, yeah, we're going to just feed this guy up, make a saddle for him, and try that out. We should be ready in no time now. Come on, buddy. Eat something. You know you want to eat. Oh, you're actually a girl. Okay. Well... Come on, honey. Yeah, there you go. In fact, I'm going to just call you honey. <laughs> it just seems to work out like that. All right, honey. Um, put this on. And we're going to see what you can do with these uh, these these bamboos. Okay? All right. Uh, nope, we don't need this. Okay. So, bamboo. Okay, I just got bamboo from it. No seed. How about bamboo shoots? Hmm, doesn't look like it. I'm gonna hit three more trees just to make sure. Only bamboo. So you can't grow this stuff to the best of my knowledge. You can't grow it. Hmm. Well, that stinks, guys. Because I, re <laughs> I really wanted bamboo shoots. I did. Oh, man. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. You can't have it all, I, I, I do suppose. God dog it. That would have been great, man. And one more time with the trike, just in case I'm overlooking something. Are you actually on follow, too? Yeah, honey. Hold up, honey. Hold up. One more try with the trike. Trike seems a lot better at collecting the bamboo, though. At least the hitbox is a little bit better, too. Yeah, only one bamboo from that guy, too. Well, I guess it's just not a thing. But I still want to take the trike and the thorny out to the biome where the swamp is and see if I could get green berries from there. I think I found the green berries, boys and girls. That's a weird looking plant. It's a lot different than like the fern type plants that you see 
over here. I'm willing to bet that's it right there. Kind of like the orange berries, you know? Oh! Uh, do you mind? I am not even scared of you. I am not even scared of you. Not even enough to get fidget on you. Uh, where were we, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Uh, <laughs> so, I, uh, I also got a parasaur just in case I could not uh, harvest with the trike. But we're going to go ahead and pull the trike out again. <laughs> so happy to get green berries. Uh, if this is actually it. It's supposedly a rare drop, so hopefully I get it. Ah, stemberry seeds. No! I gotta be careful too, because it is medjo berry seeds. God dog it! Maybe I'll have to harvest a few more if I can even find them. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, green berries. This is it, you guys. I just need to get a seed now. Oh, we got one. <laughs> That's where it is, you guys. And I just saw... Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. We're in trouble now. We're in trouble now. Fidget. Fidget, 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 fidget. Um, fidget. Fidget, help. <laughs> They're coming for me, Fidget. All right. Ah, uh, I can barely see, but I see enough to know that I can kill the Sarko. I don't think it could get back up here, honestly. Ooh, man. Oh, baby, we got him, though. I need to get some more. <laughs> so I ended up with three of the green berry seeds, and I just harvested a bunch of orange berries, too. So let's see here. We're just going to plant these front and center and let them grow up. I wish there was a way to make these grow faster. But it does not look like it. And here, we're just going to put the rest of the orange. I don't know what I'm going to need uh, orange dye for yet. But I do know I want a variety of colors to be able to use in decorations and stuff. That's one of the reasons I haven't uh, done a bedroom yet. I really want to put a, a bedroom together. But I don't know what style I'm going to use. And I just want to make sure that I have a few dyes. Last but not least, I really need to do the gray berries too. I did a few of them, uh, just enough to get a little plot started or whatever, um, but I'd like to do a lot of the berries up top. Uh, by the way, I made some base upgrades I don't know if I showed y'all very recently. Check it out! It's all sealed up now. I finally got the measurements down and I ended up putting a small door to be able to access the top as well as a larger door if I decide to come down here with dinos and so far it has been really really nice um, one thing that I wanted to try out with you guys uh, for the bamboo idea is something called bamboo dividers um, I wasn't aware that this was even a thing but I started looking through the blueprints and it turns out that bamboo dividers uh, is a thing so let's take a look at it you can make them in the decoration hut dividers just like this bamboo dividers I have no idea what they're gonna look like but they take quite a bit of bamboo like 30 a piece uh, I can imagine that they're probably gonna be big right oh man they're like too high is that two actually it's like two and a little bit you know, I wonder if this would make a good outline. Huh. Hold on. Let's grab some bamboo. I'm genuinely interested now to see what we can do. You got plenty of bamboo on you, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can get 
So how big are they again? They and they are too wide. Hmm. You can't you can't queue them. So this wouldn't be able to be like a three by three or anything. But maybe let's see. I don't know. I I I want to place them. I want to place them up top first, just in case you can't reuse them. Dividers. Uh, oh, what are we missing? Fiber. I have some of that. I has fiber. I don't know how much. Oh, yeah, I got plenty. Okay, let's try this out then. Dividers. I know it's 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 made for like room decorations, you know. That puts me a few more. I don't think this is going to do what I want it to do, but it's interesting. Let's look at it. Bamboo dividers. So if I were to let's say go down one more right here. Uh squishy, did you do that, baby? You nasty. That is gross, Squishy. Eat to destroy. Okay. Um, Alright. So they can't be placed. They have to be placed on floor. Hmm. It will stick out, though. I don't think it's going to stick out enough to really matter. And it's going to be at a weird place. Plus, you can't curve them. So that's definitely not what we're looking for. But still really cool. It might make a good pergola. I think that's how you pronounce it, pergola. But we're going to have to do something. It, it, it places down here, right? Yeah, it places on floor. So we would have to do something. Let's see. This might be a good area to do it. Let's do... We might just make it like it has to be no it has to be even I do believe and it's gonna have to be three so all right so we take bamboo foundations I think I have some of those can I get off of this thing Wow I was like stuck for a minute there all right we need some bamboo foundations Maybe like, what was it, 6 by 3, so 18. Bamboo, there's walls, okay. I do have foundation, I need ceilings bad. Um, okay, and also there's some handrails too I should get. I'll get 6, uh, as far as these, I'll get 20. They're really easy to make comparison, compared, you know. And we don't have any ceilings, so we'll probably have to use uh, the stairs for this. Let's do another, let's see, six and three, and we'll need walls too, so 12. Let's just do 15 of these. And walls, I don't know, we'll do 50. And I think this setup is going to allow us to make something interesting at the very least. <laughs> I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but uh, we're going to try it out. All right. Okay. Oh, let me get the rest of this stuff out of here, too. All right. I, 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 like, I like the stuff that I got here. We're going to try it out, man. I'm going to try it out live, y'all. We're going to try it out live. Okay. So, let's do all of the foundations down. I'm going to put the walls on the hot bar and stuff, too. Okay. Start with the foundations. Oh, I like that you can change the direction of them. That's cool. I wonder if you could paint these bad boys too. 
Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. And I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a plant feature of some sort right here. But at any rate, let's try out what I wanted to try out. So we're going to need to go three high on the stairs in order to make it like a ceiling because I don't know if these are going to fit. See, okay, let's just do them like this. Make sure they're the same way because I know people freak out. Okay, um, we may have to join the corners uh, with blocks because from what I can see, oh, it's obstructed. It's not obstructed if I do it that way, so that's weird. Uh, okay, so yeah, if I want it to be semi hole like this, I'll have to probably combine it with walls in the corners, okay? So just hear me out. Okay, beautiful. Now I could do something like rails up front, right? They seem to play so far out. Okay, but that's okay. Uh, Alright, now we're going to need a little rooftop for them. So we can start this rooftop like... I'm thinking we can do walls. Just like this, and we'll do walls right here as well. Okay, now, can we place stairs everywhere around it? Oh wait, stairs. Hmm. We cannot just place stairs willy-nilly like this. There is going to have to be some sort of support for it. So, let's see. Can, first of all, can we take these down? No, we can only demolish them. Dang. Uh, huh. Well, this is tricky. Don't tell me we're going to have to demolish these just to make them again. I think we might. I think we might. So, let's just see how it looks first before we do that. We can pull these up. So, that's fine. And let's just do walls right here, just so that we can put the stairs. This stuff looks pretty darn good, man, I gotta say. Okay. Okay, now... We pull these out. And these out. And if it would go over by one more, I think it would look fine. I really do. Especially if it would go out. So yeah, I'm going to have to demo these things and, uh, and rebuild it all around. But we'll come back when I get it all done. So I got the ceiling up and I love it. But there's an issue in my opinion. The back seems a little bit full. Like, those corners seem a little bit too heavy for the rest of the structure. So, I'm thinking that either a cross rail or something like that. I wish there was some sort of a pillar or just a pole that I could do, but apparently it's not. So, I have the option to do something like this. Which kind of adds to it, but it does look a little bit funky. Um... Let's do, actually, let's take these off and try possibly just the cross sections instead. So just one more time here, like that. That just sticks out from the back. That basically looks exactly the same as the three-way deal. I think the three-way looks a little bit better, uh, personally. So I need one, two, three, I need about six or seven more of these to get that done and then we can see about planning something uh the only thing is i really don't have any plants 
<laughs> like, um, I have to run water to get there, for instance. Uh, so that might be a thing. Hold on, do I have anything to eat on me? I had a ton of berries and stuff. I guess not, I'll tell you what. To heck with it. Uh, rails. There we go. We got about seven of them. Oh, the green berries are ready. Green berries are ready. We're going to have to make dye with this. Let's put the sickle back in. Come on, seeds. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're multiplying. They're multiplying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm a bad singer. Um, I know, Squishy. You like my singing, right? Okay, well. <laughs> well, I'll take what I can get, Squishy. Anyway, let's grab some meat. And uh, we will just eat some. There we go. So, this brings me to something I've been meaning to ask you guys. I have admin privileges on the server. So does everyone else. Um, it's kind of a touchy subject. So I'm just going to ask anyway. Would you guys be opposed to me spawning in water blocks? That's right. Water blocks. Um, they are spawnable in creative uh, or by command. Did I not get the rails out? That gummit! Uh, they're spawnable by command and they act just like regular old water does anywhere else. It's like for the source blocks. You can always get rid of them if you need to just by filling them. They're just the same as if you do it in a... Um, I don't know uh, why I'm, I'm tripping because I'm talking about a subject that makes me nervous, man. Uh, no, we don't need the dividers. We need rails. There we go. Um, yeah, so I I could do so much with water, y'all. Not only would I be able to do uh, a really, really good-looking farms without all the plumbing, but I can do water features like fountains and... Um, and, and just, and, and heck, streams if I really wanted to. I don't know how they p affect, uh, uh, performance, uh, on the server. I imagine that it's no different than anything else, to tell you the truth. But, um, I, I just thought I'd ask, because, like, I have free reign to be able to do it if I want to, you know. So just think about if I didn't have to worry, I mean, don't get me wrong, plumbing, but just imagine, like, little water features around here, like little fountains and stuff. I think it would be great. Okay. So let's pull that out and that out. Um, and this one and that one as well, because it's still going to have the border all around. And we can just go with dirt here. Because it's not like a valuable resource, you know? It's not like a valuable resource, and we could potentially have something really really nice here so yeah like i'm gonna i, I want to run water here i'm gonna have to connect to um i'm gonna have to connect to the ocean i'll probably just go almost straight down and into the water i should just be able to do that just fine and connect pipes and get this going but yeah i i really want to be able to to do this i you know in fact my other water tap came out like somewhere around here yeah so what if i just go further just connect it hmm i think i might do that i'll just have to go one further down which isn't going to be a problem and i'll tell you what i'm gonna do Let's go back up here. Make sure there's no origins trying to, to dive bomb me here. I'll know where I have to go in from here. It's regular old dirt, so it should be fine. I mean, I'll hit marble anyway, so it shouldn't matter, but... All right. It's here. Okay. So. And a tap right there should be fine. So I'll just go grab some pipe. And, uh, oh, I'm going to have to go down from here too, which shouldn't be that much of a problem. I don't know. We'll see. 
So we got it all sorted out, Squishy. So down here, I put the plumbing. I basically just ran that same pipe down just by one. <laughs> and I put it all the way over here with a tap. So that's good. And I actually pulled out some paint and tried that out, and it looks amazing. Uh, other than that, I let my plants grow a little bit. I put two citronol and two tinto berry plants, and I think it looks amazing, guys. <laughs> like, it came out really, really good. I love it. Um, I don't know if dirt would look better at the bottom on the outside, just for the way it kind of... Uh, kind of sits um, because typically this stuff is just placed on the ground you know but I like that the way it looks right now I'm still considering I don't know how the spawn mechanics work in uh, in Pixar I was talking to John about this and he I, I showed him a picture and he was like looks good I wonder what a wild t-rex would do it here <laughs> and that's why I had fenced it off but I, I guess I never thought about them spawning here I, I don't really see anything spawning close to things that I've built this close together, but you never really know. Um, I did, in fact, try the white bamboo fence right around this too, and I think I like this the best. It's not even one of the choices that I put on the pole, but it uh, it's a good choice. And I think the, the choice that I had on this one, which was the regular fence, was one of the highest voted anyway. So this is just a variation of that, and I think it looks great. The only thing that I wanna do is instead of these trees, um, I'm not opposed to growing these trees, but I'm going to run some more plumbing or um, play around with the water features like I had mentioned to you guys and do some other types of trees because I got like the cool swamp trees and stuff, the ones with the vines hanging down. I think a few of those would look really, really good. Some green in this biome would look amazing. I think it already does. The way it stands out like that is wonderful. Uh, so speaking of the pole, you guys, and I was talking to you all about spawning water blocks in, this would be cheating, but it would be fun, right? <laughs> you know, like outside of just the pain of running pipe, I mean, I'm right above water. So all it is is just stretching pipe around and the pipe's not that expensive anyway. Stone pipe is one stone a piece. So as far as advantages go of being able to place water, it's more convenient, but I think it would be gorgeous. Like I could do a freaking jacuzzi for squishy and stuff wow. yeah squishy i could do a jacuzzi for you baby we could do bathroom stuff like bathtubs we can do um little ponds little water features freaking fountains i think it would be great and i think it would just really 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 add um to the fun factor and the beauty of it all so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and do a poll on my youtube channel guys y'all can check the link in the description below uh, to look at the poll and vote right now. I just did a, po uh, a poll between clips and it already has over 200 votes on it with a resounding yes Do the water features. But I'll, I'd like to know how the majority of my audience feels. And if you don't think I should do it, leave me a comment and let me know why. You know, because I, I just think it would add so much to the video. But anyway, guys, that's the pergola. I hope y'all really enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. <laughs> I, if I could get if I could get it to where and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos guys wow. thanks so much for watching as always this is Uljan signing off and I'll see you next time